welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Camila, and I know the camera is a lot closer than it usually is. Even I am a little getting used to it. Also, <laughs> I was gonna wear my hair down for this video, but I didn't really feel like it, so I decided to just tie it up on the top. So to, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips and tricks on how to survive middle school. I know that middle school is kind of rough for some people and is fine for other people. For me, it was like totally fine, but I have lots of friends who struggled with middle school and then I kind of like put all the things together and decided on a few tips to tell you guys, to help you guys out. I have my phone right here and I'm going to be looking at that and reading off the list. I kind of narrowed it down to a few tips, well, more than a few tips. But before we get on to the video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, make sure to click that bell looking thing so you get, notif get a notification every time I post a new video. So yeah, let's get on to the video. So, the first thing on the list, which is one of the most important things for middle school, is you must choose your friends wisely. Because friends make a huge impact during middle school, and so, you know, I mean, you're like with your friends all the time, and so you gotta make friends first, because they will support you and help you out, and yeah, so, Part of choosing friends wisely is that you have to be willing to make new friends. So don't be too clicky or like stuck with a certain friend group because there are lots of people out there that are great. But another thing on there on this list is to just try your best not to make fake friends. Because there are lots of people out there who are very fake and who pretend to be your friend but then they end up like talking behind your back or something. So watch out for those people because I'm sure there have been at least, I'm sure everyone has made at least one fake friend and then realized that it wasn't such a good idea. So you know, part of that tip actually has to do with another tip later on. So make sure you listen to that one. I was also gonna say to always at least find a friend in every class, then it won't be so rough. That'll also help you with lunch so that you don't sit alone. If you do see someone who's alone at lunch, go and sit by them because I'm sure that they are having a rough day, that they need a friend, or they're super shy and they just don't know how to talk to people. Another tip is to be outgoing. Yes. <laughs> hey Alicia, do you want to be friends? Sure. Okay, great. Did you know that Camille has her own YouTube channel? That's so weird. Were you just spreading rumors about me? No. Oh, I'm sorry, but we can't be friends anymore. Second tip is to not, like, do not bully and do not be a fake friend. So this involves, like, just, I mean, it's just simple as not being a bully. Like, don't be rude to other people. Don't spread rumors about other pe other people, especially not your friends. Well, like, well, maybe just don't spread rumors about anyone, but you know, especially not your friends, because I mean, those, your friends are the people who will stick with you. And if you don't have trust between the two of you, well, that's kind of a problem. Wait, your hair is brown? Yeah. That's so weird. Your hair is brown too. Sorry, I got it. Hey Alicia, it's so Hi. good to see you. I mean, I haven't seen you for like a whole weekend. It's crazy. Uh -huh. Do you have like a class to go to or something? Yeah. That Alicia girl, oh my gosh. She bothers me so much sometimes, like, Hey Alicia! Oh, oh you are so awesome! Like, <laughs> okay, I gotta go. Another thing is do not get involved in drama. And I know this is like super hard because I mean, middle school is filled with drama, whether you're a one person or with, I don't know. Drama is different for different people. Just if you feel like something is getting too much or it's hurting you emotionally, then just do not get involved with it. Because honestly, like, if you don't get involved with it, then life will be so much easier, so you know. So, um, 
Do you have any gossip for me? She did what? Yeah, I know, right? Oh, I gotta go tell the whole school. My job is done. Another thing is to try your best. This means like with grades and being friendly and being a good person, just because to prepare you for high school, like I haven't, I'm just starting my freshman year. So I'm like not really sure what high school is gonna be like yet, but still like you wanna prepare yourself for the life to come. I feel like if you start out trying to do your best with your grades, then when your grades do actually count, then it won't be so much of a struggle. If that makes any sense, you know? Oh my goodness, high school. Oh, it's gonna be such a great year. I mean, like my grades didn't count last year and I got like F minuses in all my classes, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> I can't do this. Next thing is to be yourself and have a positive attitude. Now I know this is like super hard to like keep a positive attitude 24 seven because I mean, I am not always positive. Like sometimes I just don't have good days or I'm not in a very good mood, but you know, it's okay because I try hard and I try to be positive and I try to be myself. So, you know, it's like if you're yourself, then you won't be a fake friend because you're not fake because you're yourself, you know? Also, if you're positive and try your best, then that will most likely help you to not get involved with drama, which is, it's so weird because like all of these, these tips get like intertwined with each other. So, you know, if you like do all these things, then like it'll help you out a lot. I like so want to be one of the cool kids this year. Also, I really hate school. Yeah, me too. I mean, every single class is so boring. And plus, none of my friends are even nice. No offense. Another thing is to be prepared. I know this is kind of hard because I mean like, sometimes you don't know what to expect with school, especially when you're just starting school or like if you're starting at a new school or something. But just try to get everything together to be prepared for anything that you think you will need to be prepared for. Or just have like an emergency kit. And there's plenty of videos on like people giving you tips on what you should bring to school, especially if you're a girl. So there's that. And also have like pencils and markers or whatever you need and pens and notebooks and folders, just extra so that you are prepared for classes in case if you forgot something. Another thing, this is also, this also does involve making sure that you are bringing your homework and doing your homework. I suggest that you get a planner because, oh my goodness, like if I did not have a planner, middle school I would not have survived I mean my planner literally had everything it had all my classes in it and all my assignments and all the important things for every class that I needed to remember so you know planners are great <sighs> I'm actually on time today wait I forgot my pencil and my notebook oh I forgot everything I really need to get a planner no another thing is to talk to an adult you can trust if you have any problems. Like I never really had any problems, but I did know that if I did have a problem, I would talk to my parents about it. Or like if it involves with like other students and you need, like you can talk to a teacher or the principal or other people or like the secretary. So that also ties into another tip, which is to be friendly to teachers. Now I know this is like kind of hard for people to understand because some people are like, oh, it's bad to be in the teacher's pet. It's bad to do keep up your grades because I mean, not cool. I just need you to understand because just stick with me here because like so, so many people say that it's bad to be a good student, but honestly, it is so good for you. Like my mom was a teacher before and she was saying that like, I was talking to her about this video idea and stuff. And I told her about this tip and I was like, I've noticed that when I am good or act good in class, then teachers trust me more to do my homework and stuff. So if I don't get an assignment done, they're like more understanding to 
like let me finish the assignment later. I know there's like some bias here, but you know, it's okay because it'll help you out. And I know there's lots of teachers that aren't as great as others. So make sure that you <laughs> act good in your classes because honestly, like it helps you a lot more. And there are some teachers who are like really flexible with like, like if you're a good student, then like they'll be flexible with you like talking and stuff in class. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. I'm so ready for this class. I'm just gonna take my shoes off. Ugh. So tired. Class is over and I don't even remember anything like the teacher taught. Oh well, it's fine. I'll just tell her I forgot to do the assignment last night and that I can do it tomorrow. I'm so ready for this class, like you don't even know. I love this class. The end of the class already, I learned so much. Oh, I forgot to do my homework from yesterday. Oh well, I can turn it in tomorrow. So I forgot to do the assignment last night and I was wondering if I can do it tonight and just turn it in tomorrow. Sorry, you get a zero for your homework. That's unacceptable. Oh. Oh, fine. So I totally forgot to do my homework last night. Is it okay if I turn it into tomorrow? Oh yeah, totally, no problem. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Let's get on to the video. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> that was me. So even know cheesy. what that was. <laughs> Up. It's like not even showing my face. Okay. Um, I was gonna say something else and then I forgot. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Like, I'm so tired. Not really, but like, it's not even that late. Like, I don't even know what time it is. It's only 8.44. Why am I tired? Okay. Stay focused. Okay. Uh, I'm like making up tips as I go because I realize that I have more things to tell you guys. Hey, so I forgot to, the, to do the assignment last night. Hey, so um, I forgot to do the assignment last night. I'm so bad again. <laughs> hey, so I forgot to do. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching that video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that these tips help you guys out with middle school. And by the way, she is not. She still has a long time until she goes into middle school. So. <laughs> I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed watching those little skits, and yeah, thanks or thanks for watching, and to subscribe, click right here, and to watch more videos, click right here, and yeah, bye!